Hi everyone, how are you all doing out there? Well, it's fair to say our world has been completely turned upside down. I'd have to say I'm struggling to deal with what's going on at the moment. Um, I think it's probably the most challenged I've ever felt by anything in my life. And that's because uh, for all of us really, it's completely shrouded with uncertainty, uncertainty of what's going to happen over the coming weeks and even more uncertainty about what's going to happen over the coming months. Um, but my way of dealing with these sort of things usually is to try and arm myself with as much pos um, knowledge as possible. It's perhaps clutching at straws, trying to gain some little bit of control. Um, so it means I've been doing a lot of research and study and basically reading anything I can get my hands on that's uh, been coming out from China, retrospective studies, research papers, um, um, basically anything that's been coming out across the world. But um, yeah, a lot, I suppose, on um, how China coped with it and what sort of, what ways the patients presented with COVID-19 and what ways they were treated. So the, my following few videos, I think, are going to be kind of based on this. Um, we've been talking, we've been told an awful lot and obviously we're getting constant messages about how to cope with this virus from the outside, in other words, all the hand washing, sanitization, um, being really careful about, you know, keeping two meters apart, um, you know, not going out in groups more than four, unless you live in the same household, washing and cleaning our surfaces if we have to go out and we come back in and we've been to the shop or we've touched anything. Um, but not as much focus is being paid to what we can do from within. And that to me is um, maybe foolhardy. Um, it's one thing to try and pr prevent us from getting the virus, but as we know, it's highly infectious. So the chances of us contracting it are quite high and um, but it's going to be trying to arm ourselves um, from the inside to be able to fight it if we do get it and that's what I'd like to focus on so I'm going to use some terminology from Chinese medicine I'll disperse I'll try and keep it as, as basic as I can and obviously explain things as I go on so what's come out of China basically from all the studies is that this is what the Chinese would call a damp plague which means that the virus would be seen as an invasion of um, a, of a damp cold into the body so it means we have to be really conscious of um, what our internal environment is like. So if you have a propensity towards damp, and I'll try and explain that a bit more in a second, um, you have to be more careful because you're a bit more prone. So uh, people who have damp tend to be um, overweight or find it difficult to lose weight. You might have loose stools, you feel sluggish, you can be slow, you foggy thinking, you can be slow in the morning. Oh my God, it's like I'm describing myself. But anyway, um, but um, so all of these things, um, would indicate that maybe you have a, an internal damp environment and obviously our external environment is extremely damp in this country so what we have to try and do is things that help to combat this damp so what you think of is if you think of damp you know think of it in terms of um, if you've got say like waterlogged ground like a marsh or whatever it's swampy it's uh, turbid it's everything is slow nothing moves through there easily and that's exactly what our internal environment is like if we have damp internally so the, one of the first things we need to do is try and start clearing that damp and so I'm going to be talking about um, in my coming videos um, about how we start doing that because we're going to do it in a number of ways we're going to do it through food and our diet we're going to uh, do it um, first with our mind how, how we are internally in our heads and um, we're going to talk about that we're going to talk about movement um, and obviously exercise is part of that um, and hopefully I'll be able to give you tips and advice that will help you to actually support yourself internally as well as all the external measures you're currently taking.